Hello and welcome. Today we are in the Tier 9 Italian Destroyer, the Paolo Emilio. We're playing a match on the map Shards. And I spawned on the eastern side. I am not heading towards the sea cap because I noticed we had an Akatsuki over there. Instead, my plan is to go wide. I'm gonna go east of the sea cap and see if I can find some kind of uh, random battleship or maybe a cruiser or maybe a destroyer that we can start engaging in. The main thing is that I wish to surprise them so that they don't expect me to be there. I am using swift in silence, which means my ship goes 49.4 knots without speed boost. And hey, we have a moss over there. She is smoking and obviously using hydro, but I'm still gonna torpedo her. With her positioning, it's actually gonna be quite rough to be able to avoid these torpedoes. I mean, she'll have to get kinda lucky and I'm gonna disengage when that happens. Meanwhile, I will just fire my guns. And she got hit by that torpedo. Oh, and she's moving forward because- Oh, she's flooding too! <laughs> Devastating strike. Alright. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just disengage. I'm gonna use my smoke screen so I don't lose any HP while this Azuma comes around the island. I mean, I might need the HP later, right? It's possible. And uh, I'll just back off. There's no reason to push my luck here. Because the Yazuma probably has Hydro. Actually, I have no idea. Does the Yazuma have Hydro? I I don't remember. Well, whatever. I have already made my decision anyway, so I'm just gonna leave. I didn't lose any HP. Oh, and I even hit the torpedo on her. I didn't lose any HP. I sank a DD. I did like a third of the HP of that Azuma. And uh, yeah, that's an excellent start to the game. Oh, when Dazuma is getting engaged by Charles Martel as well. And while I still have a little bit of the smoke screen, I'm gonna take one more shot. And then I'm gonna go behind the island. Because otherwise she'll spot me, because my concealment is 7.1 kilometers. I guess she can actually just spot me. It doesn't really matter because her guns are pointed elsewhere. So I can just keep shelling. Yeah, another 4k damage. She's down to 13,000 HP. She'll probably start turning her turret slowly, but it'll be slow. Yeah, you can see the turrets turning, so I'm gonna just go forward. And I should be able to avoid this, mostly. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. I probably should have accelerated earlier, but it doesn't really matter that much. Hey, Azuma's actually dead now. So, this is a great way to start the game, right? We took out the Moss, we took out the Azuma. Things are looking good. Oh, and the Lenin is pushing into the sea cap. You know what? I want to go after the Lenin. I know I don't have a smoke screen for a minute, but still, I can do it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's go do it. I I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. I mean, I'll probably get shot at a few times, but I'll be fine, I think. Oh, the torpedoes are gonna be rough. I need to wait to get into a better position to be able to launch those torps, otherwise the Lenin will simply outrun them. I guess I can just shell while doing that, but still. Uh, a bit late, I should have probably sped boost earlier. Uh, it would have gone better. It's okay though, I, I have plenty of HP here. Okay, oh, okay, I, I can soon launch the torps. If she takes any kind of uh, evasive action, they should be able to hit her. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh! Uh, I think I might have overestimated myself a little here. Um. <laughs> oh no. Well, at least we got the battleship. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I ain't dead yet. I got a smoke screen off at the last moment, and this keeps us unspotted and alive with 797 HP. I am thinking of trying to take the cap zone, but I don't think it's gonna work out. The smoke just doesn't last long enough to safely try to take this. So I'm just gonna have to leave here. RPF is pointing at the York and Ignite now, so I should be safe just leaving here. I'm gonna go south and then just see what happens with the rest of the game. I could go for B, I guess. 
that's a possibility. I mean, the Altus is leaving. Oh no, 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 RPF jumped to B. This means the destroyer, the Asashio, has to be over there. Okay, I need to disengage. I need to leave, 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 leave quickly. Faster, Paola Emilio, you have Swift in silence. Oh no, I got spotted by the Asashio. And Swift in silence doesn't work when you're spotted. Oh no, this is bad. I'm gonna turn in a little bit. Hopefully the island gets between me and the Asashio. Come on. <laughs> and by the sound of it, maybe it actually saved me from some shells. Possibly. <laughs> Akatsuki, please. Okay, there's the Asashio. Out of range. And we avoided the shells. Good. Good. Okay, we're still fine. 270 HP. 270 HP. Akatsuki, what are you doing? Akatsuki, please. Look, if the Akatsuki went out and were to go closer to the Asashio, she could spot the Asashio and we could engage like that. Right? It's not like an Asashio is some amazing gunboat that will eat this Akatsuki alive. If I just do one salvo, the Akatsuki should be able to take out the Asashio, especially if we have help from the Musashi or something else as well. But unfortunately, she doesn't seem to want to. Which means that my only choice is to head closer to the map border, as close as I can, because I cannot run into that Asasha. The moment I do, I'm dead. So I just need to hope that Yakatsuki decides to turn around and go, I guess, scout further ahead. I mean, she has to do that anyway, because the Asasha is gonna go after the Musashi, right? There's no way that she wouldn't. But all I can do is basically just wait. We can't even go rush that Nisa now because, well, she has she is next to a York, and York has Hydro. So even if I use my smokescreen to try to get close, I can't because, well, Hydro. Hopefully, though, Musashi will focus the York. I mean, who wouldn't want to hit a squishy cruiser? And will take her out, and maybe then I can. Okay. I guess we'll just have to wait. I need to turn around here. I can't get closer. Even though Musashi is actually firing on the Orc, unfortunately it's not going to be enough and the Orc is going to be within my detection range or able to detect me in like 20 seconds. So I have to turn around and run away. Oh, the Asashi is actually torping the Orc. That's not bad. However, I'd really like her if she went further ahead and uh, spotted more for the Musashi. Oh, Musashi fired on the Orc. Excellent. Very, very good. York is down to 13,000. But Musashi is down to 8k and falling. 5k. Wait, what? Wait, uh, what's going on here? Is the Akatsuki opening fire on the York? Why? Uh, uh, a destroyer engaging in a gunfight against the York? And yeah, the York decides to hit the Akatsuki instead. Oh, and then the Asashi seems that she's opening up on the Akatsuki. What are you doing, Akatsuki? I mean, I guess it draws fire from the Musashi, but still, it seems super risky. I think I'm gonna have to open up and take the risk on... I don't know. We should... we have to take out this York, otherwise I am definitely dead. The Asashi is gonna run me down. Well, maybe not run me down, but just intercept me. Yep, Asashi took out the Akatsuki. <laughs> That's extremely unfortunate. Luckily, the Musashi took out the York as well, and she managed to get off a heal. So Musashi is up to 15k HP. Unfortunately, I only had 270 HP, so I can't go help her. So what should I do right now? I can't go help the Musashi. Musashi is on her own. But maybe I can go and head towards C, and I either get Musashi or the Gneisenau with my smokescreen. It's possible, right? I might be able to YOLO one of the two down. That's at the, that's nor north of me. And I think that's actually a pretty good plan. It's a 4 versus 6 though, so things are looking rough, especially since I have no HP, Musashi has no HP. Hopefully the Soyuz and the Gneiser now on the ACAP are doing better, but they're fighting outnumbered, right? It's two battleships against the cruiser battleship and uh, a destroyer. Okay, so Gneisenau is too far for me to push, but RPF is pointing at the island straight ahead of me. So Musashi must be behind that. So my plan is to go after the Musashi as early as I can. I have torpedoes sp selected so that I, if I spot her even for a moment, I'll know where she's heading. Oh, there she is! 
Okay, okay, now we know where she's going. I have to remember this because I'm gonna smoke here once she comes around the island. Because I cannot be spotted. Even a random secondary shell will take me out in one shell, right? So, the plan is to get close, but not close enough to get spotted. Launch tarps on one side, and then launch tarps on the other side and the middle launcher. That way I will put all of my torpedoes into the water, and if enough of them hit, it should take out the Musashi, and yeah, it seems that she's gonna get hit by these. It's too late for her to do evasive maneuvers anymore. She probably doesn't even realize that I'm here, right? I need to be further than 3.5 kilometers, then I can fire my guns. Oh, 6k, damn. Anyway, I never got spotted, so the Musashi, because I never showed up on the minimap or anything like that, the Musashi probably never realized that I was there, at least until it was too late. Because you don't notice an angry smokescreen heading towards you. Actually, I guess it wasn't an angry smokescreen because I didn't fire my guns until way later. So yeah, the Musashi probably never realized that I was there. And thus, with 270 HP, I dev struck a battleship. That was almost full HP. And now we can just head over to the sea cap and take it easily. By the way, the Musashi is still alive against the Nasashi in open water. Well done by that Musashi. Really well done. But yeah, I'm just gonna head over to the sea cap and then I'm gonna try to trail the uh, Gneisen now because she's probably gonna head over to the B side and I'll have to go there anyway. And maybe we can do the same thing with it to the Musashi to the Gneisen now, although it's way more difficult to do so when the battleship is actively running away from you. But if she has no idea that I'm coming, then perhaps it can work. Ooh, our organizer now detonated the enemy Baltimore. Well done. Really well done. I'm gonna enter the sea cap. By the way, nobody actually took the sea cap in this entire match. It's been 14 minutes. Several ships have entered this cap zone. Nobody has actually taken it though. But yeah, unfortunately I couldn't have helped that Musashi. I just did not have the HP and it was too risky to do so. Actually, the situation isn't looking as bad anymore. It's a 3 versus 3. It's a 3 versus 2. But I have so little HP, I barely count, I think. Okay. I'm gonna park myself on the edge of the cap zone over there. At least far away enough from the Ignizen now so I don't get spotted. So that I can shadow her as quickly as I need to. 20 seconds on the cap. Wait, RPF just jumped. What the hell? RPF just jumped off the Gneiser now. Asashio is here. Asashio is right here. Has to be. And I'm spotted. No. No. I have to smoke. Immediately have to smoke. And I have to reposition. I can't go forward. Because the Asashio knows I'm going to go over there. So I'm going to have to turn. Turn away. And hopefully get out. But I'm going to tell my team that I'm dead. Because I don't see a way to really survive this. Asashio has HP. It takes one shell to just sink me. One! I'm I'm just gonna rely on RPF and hopefully that'll keep track of where the Asashi is. I'm guessing the Asashi is gonna come around the island as quick, you know, right around the corners. So I'm gonna launch some torpedoes over there and maybe they'll catch her. And hopefully I'll keep the island between me and her. This smokescreen was really useful though. I'm gonna launch another one here, right next to these rocks, because she is gonna enter the sea cap, right? That's her obvious plan. And then I'm just gonna wait with RPF, because I'll I have a rough understanding of where she is. So if she tries to come around the island, I should at least have some idea. I can play a ring around the rosy with her a little bit. <coughs> and we landed the torpedo! Yes! Yes! That's extremely good! If we land another one, I mean, it'll take 50 seconds until we can launch another one. But if we land another one, we can actually take her out. Okay, okay, okay. She doesn't appear to be moving, at least not very quickly. That's possibly a bad sign, because she might try to surprise me from the other side. But maybe she'll go for the cap first. Okay, no, no, she's still going. Somebody's pinging me to do things, but I can't. Because if I get spotted by that Asashi, even for a moment, I'm dead. I just have to stay unspotted. Although maybe if her guns aren't pointed in the right direction, maybe I can get a salvo off first. 
but I don't think she's gonna leave the cap before she has taken it. Which means that uh, she might get surprised right now. She doesn't have RPF herself after all, right? Okay, okay, okay. Where is she? Oh, there she is! Come on, come on! Quickly, quickly, quickly! Come on! Yes! 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 We got it! We got it! Yes! I can't believe it! We somehow also got a devastating strike for that, which... What? Why did we get a devastating strike for that? I mean, technically we did hit her really hard with the torpedo, right? But that was, like, 30 seconds ago. But we did it! 270 HP! And, uh, yeah. No, actually, I fell down to, like, 1800 HP, then I sank the Lenin. Then after that I sank the uh, Musashi, right? And now we sank the Asashio. <laughs> Damn. Also, by the way, look look at that. My Soyuz has 2,976 HP. Naisa now has 8,000 HP and is on fire. <laughs> but luckily though, we won this game. Right? I mean, there's no way the Naisa now can spot me. So, it's, it's over. We've won. Also, on the right side, we have a Soyuz with 656 HP. On the left side, we have a Gneisenau with 1433 HP. I'm surprised they aren't fighting. I guess the Soyuz isn't firing because she knows that when she fires, she'll be spotted by the Gneisenau, and then Gneisenau will shoot in return, right? And if either of them derp a salvo, the other one wins the fight. And it has to be the Soyuz that makes the choice, because I am spotting the Gneiser now. But I have guns too. I'm gonna get close enough to fire, but I'll only do it right before she gets behind the island for me. That way she can't respond. Yep. And we're fine, unspotted again. Because, I mean, at this point, why not? I have I have sunk four ships already. Obviously, I should go for the Kraken, right? With my 270 HP. I mean, who needs more than, more than that, right? Even this is excessive. I have 269 HP more than I actually need. I'm gonna take a shot and then immediately smoke. Wow, I actually never got spotted, even for a little moment. But goodbye. Thank you for the Kraken. <laughs> what an absolutely amazing game. I can't believe I survived that and then I survived all of that and then went on to sink four more ships and cap two bases. <laughs> Unbelievable. One of those devastating strikes was really rather confusing, but that fight with the Asashio was amazing. 2530 base XP, so he just gets a compliment. Gnaizenau gets a compliment. Musashi gets a compliment. I feel a little bad for the Akatsuki, because she tried to help, right? Especially with the York, but I think she could have definitely played that better. She could have screened for the Asashio, and that would have probably helped the Musashi quite a lot. At least a lot more. But the Asashio did also play really well. She just got kind of unlucky by eating one of the tarps. I mean, it happens, right? Especially if you have no idea what the enemy is doing, because remember, when I was in the fight with Yasashio, I had RPF, she did not. I knew where she was, she didn't know where I was. By the way, this is why it takes survivability expert on the Paolo Emilio. If I didn't have that ability, <laughs> this game would have ended in like 4 minutes, right? So, let's take a look at the commander skills. I use incoming fire alert, then uh, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, then adrenaline rush, radio location, this is extremely useful, as we saw, and swift in silence. I've actually changed my build a little bit since then, though. I've dropped uh, Adrenaline Rush and taken Consumables Enhancement and Grease the Gears instead. So these are the upgrades that I used. I've changed these a little bit too, though. So I used the Reload Upgrade, then Concealment, and then Rudder Shift, then the Torpedo Upgrade instead of Turret Traverse, then Engine Boost and Maynard's Modification 1. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.